What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Just Dale, and I'm back with another review. This time, we're going to do the Acolyte Episode 5. If you didn't know, I just reviewed Episode 1 through 4 on my channel a few days ago, and I got completely slammed in the comments. Some of the comments are absolutely disgusting, but we got some comments where people discuss their disdain for the show in sensible ways. And like I said, I don't think it's a perfect show, but I do like it still. And I do agree with a lot of the criticisms. A lot of these things are not great. It's not the best show, but I don't think it's the worst personally. But anyway, let's get into episode five of the Acolyte. Warning, there will be spoilers here. So if you didn't see it and you care, come back after you watch it. Episode five. I greatly enjoyed episode five. I think so far this is probably my favorite yeah, my favorite episode. So let's go over what I like about the episode. Uh, let's start with simple things like the set design. Most of it took place in the forest. Really wasn't much to give here. Standard forest background. I would say it was okay, mediocre, just standard TV show level. Um, I give that maybe a five, five and a half. Uh, we're going to go over to the character development. I feel some of the characters as the twins start to baffle me. I um, didn't really get their motivations from the start. I'm kind of interested on how it plays out. Hopefully it rounds out into something that makes sense. But right now is like their thoughts and movements and reasoning seems kind of chaotic. I don't know what they're really getting at there, but hopefully it pans out and makes a lot of sense. Saul still is probably the most interesting character to me. Well, let me just say from before. Saul, his motivations, he, I can tell he has dark secrets. There's things going on. I am interested on what he's going to say to the Jedi Council after all of this. There's a lot going on with Saul. Um, I feel like he's tormented and he has a lot of secrets. And those make for good characters, especially him being a Jedi. Um, yeah, I'm interested in him. There wasn't too much dialogue in this episode, so I can't say if the dialogue was super cringy or just general bad for a TV show, but it wasn't much there. It wasn't much better than the previous episodes. So from character development, I give it another five. Uh, dialogue, I'm going to give the dialogue a four and a half to five, but it wasn't much to go on there, so that can easily be up or down. The major reveal here of who the quote unquote Sith is, is um, not very surprising to me, actually. I was leaning towards him being the Sith Lord, probably maybe 80 percent. It was between him and one of the witch mothers. And am I glad that it was him? I feel like they could have developed him a little bit more before we got this reveal. So it could have been a little more shocking. But I think he did extremely well in the character. I felt the sinisterness. I think his acting was amazing. And yeah, that to me was probably the greatest part, even though the reveal wasn't that shocking to me. I think he was the greatest part of this particular episode. Uh, let's go on to the action, the action in this episode. I, I don't know. I don't know. Some people might say they don't like it. I really want to know if you do not like it, because I think this was one of the greatest action sequences for Jedi's in one of the shows in um if not ever in in a good while it's one of my favorite as far as the tv shows go and i think it was pretty amazing rest in peace to yord and the padawan i forgot the padawan's name i'm actually kind of shocked that they killed them in the manner that they did at this time in the middle of the show even though from a story standpoint it makes a lot of sense that no one survives so i really want to know where they're going to go with this being how we know no one's supposed to know about the Sith at this point. So this has to somehow be hidden. If by the end of the show, they don't wrap this up beautifully and make it in a way where this is not known, then that's a huge ball drop. I agree. I know that's one of the things the people in the comments would say that like, how could these happen? They're ruining canon. That part is very true. If they don't find a way to wrap that up, that is a glaring ball drop. And um, I don't know. We'll see. Action wise, let's give it a score. I'm going to go with the strong seven and a half to eight for the action on this. I, I love the fighting. I love the way it went down. Uh, the the lightsabers, short circuiting and stuff. I thought it was a pretty cool dynamic and 
how he dispatched of all the Jedi's. It was pretty amazing, pretty ruthless. I I really enjoyed it. I felt the power in there and the strength, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of this. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a, a seven and a half to eight. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half to eight on the action. So that's that. The wrap up the story. Nah, mm, I kind of wish we got a little bit more. The episodes seem a little short coming in under 30 minutes. This is a show that they said the budget was, what, $180 million, I believe. So I'm surprised we're getting such short, contained episodes. But maybe they're saving everything for the finale, which some of these shows tend to do. They have a big episode in the middle and then a huge episode at the end. So I'm going to wait around and see. I probably won't pop on for each of the next few episodes. Maybe just give a wrap up at the end. But hey, let me know in the comments what you think, what you liked about the episode, what you hated about it. If you're going to continue watching, not continue watching, just please keep it respectful. And we can have a great conversation as Star Wars fans. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Thanks.